In this video, Regan is going to show you how to throw a Band-Aid on a sea can. So here we have a container with a hole in the side of it, and we need to patch it up. We've got some pretty cool patches to show you guys, and uh, yeah, if you've got a tiny little hole in your sea can, these things are great. They conform to irregular surfaces, and they dry within five minutes with UV light and harden just like fiberglass. Stay tuned. So this hole here is actually quite large. Uh, if we had this type of corrugation in stock, we very well could have repaired this with another chunk, but this is a very weird container. I almost want to shoot another video on it. But what Regan's gonna do here is grab a hammer and just try to um, get this fork lift or fork hole back flat so that we can uh, apply our fiberglass patch here. So get to work. <laughs> bring in the reinforcements here and see if I can uh, give this thing a better smack and get her nice and straight. It's a, it's a pretty big gash, so we'll see what happens here. This thing's still pretty gashed up, but uh, what you can actually do when you're banging on these is there's just a container right beside this on the other side. But uh, if someone was holding a, a sledgehammer on the other side, I don't know, tin bashers would know more or auto body guys, how to actually get that nice and straight. But it's done a pretty good job because that was sticking out, you know, a good inch and a half, two inches already. So maybe from the outside of this, I think I'm going to move that can. We'll take a look. This patch would be better applied from the outside than the inside. Uh, from what I can see here. But yeah, like I said, probably a better job to do with a welder and to put a, a corrugated patch over here, but we'll, we'll see how the, the fiberglass band-aid works and show you guys that. So the label on these things says that the surface should be uh, clean, dry, and free of contaminants. Uh, this rust here is likely a contaminant, but um, we're going to give it a try and stick it on and just see how well it uh, does it here to this. I did take, you know, uh, my claw here and just quickly try to scrape off any of the, the loose paint because that definitely is going to cause a problem. But we're going to give this a shot here. A lot of times what we do is we'll take like a, a wire wheel on the end of it, uh, like a cuff on the end of an angle grinder or something and just clean up all the paint. And then uh, these things even work in the winter, but what we do then if it's uh, below zero or even I think five degrees or something, we'll take our Tiger Torch and, and heat up the metal so that at least the, the surface is nice and warm and then apply the, uh, the fiberglass patch. And then right now we've got a container kind of blocking the sun, but what we'll do is once this is applied, we'll let the sun uh, beat on it and then it's five minutes of UV light to harden this. So we'll let Reagan get at it.
there you have it. It's just like putting on a Band-Aid and uh, Reagan's fingernails came in handy there. So um, yeah, we just make sure you apply pressure here and remove the, uh, the outer layer. And then now we're gonna move the container that's blocking the sun out of the way and let this sit in the UV light for five minutes and then see how hard it gets. So here it is on the inside. Uh, it ain't perfect, but it sure was easy. Uh, you can see it's letting daylight through and that's because the fiberglass is uh, kind of transparent, but it is a paintable fiberglass. So uh, we can paint this up and, and paint match it to the containers and then it looks good. Another thing we can do on the inside of the can is uh, fill in all these voids, voids once it hardens with a, uh, a caulking or a silicone. And so that'll kind of clean it up on the interior and just get rid of all of these sharp, rough edges. Now, this, if you only have one container and you got a hole in it, this is a great way to fix it. It's a, uh, you know, it takes five minutes to do it and it's relatively low cost. These are, these are pretty cheap patches. Us being the container guy, we obviously have chunks of corrugation laying around. And so we have the luxury of fixing holes like this. Uh, you know, with a more structural method. So this is not the only way that we fix containers, but we wanted to show, uh, you know, you guys, the followers, how this is done with these fiberglass patches and how handy they are for irregular surfaces. And so we have journeyman welders on staff. They could very well weld all of this shut, but you'd be surprised how often they run to these patches just to make quick repairs that last a long time. Now, these things are awesome. They fix, I fixed my hot tub with them, uh, sewer pipes that are cracked. I'll, I think we put it on the block of our boat engine that froze, like they, they fix more than just sea cans. And so uh, if you look these things up and you got another hole in another uh, structure, they're great. And uh, yeah, I strongly recommend them. So um, we'll let Reagan paint this up and just show you that it kind of, uh, it uh, doesn't allow the, the light to come through quite as much and, and maybe we'll uh, also seal it up from the inside and give it a little bit more time here in the sun and then we'll just see how hard that gets. So it hasn't been long in the sun at all and this thing's already hard. Uh, it's amazing, like, yeah, it's hard, just like, just like fiberglass. So um, yeah, such a simple fix there. So I think it's, it's pretty much already ready for paint here. So we'll give it a shot and then see what it looks like. There we go, we fixed it. Woo. I'm actually uh, quite impressed. I was, I was skeptical that we were uh, going to be able to actually fill that hole because that was, that was quite a large gash there. And so, yeah, them, them patches, they seem to, seem to work well. Um, I don't know if we do have them on our website right now at the time of filming this, but we'll make sure that they're on there by the time we release the video. So check us out at tcg.ca. We should have them in the product section of our website. Uh, yeah, so there, that, that's, a, that's a quick tip. That's a quite simple method to, to patch a hole in your container if you, if you got a random gash or you ran into it by accident. So um, if you found this video helpful, please give the video a like, subscribe to our channel, and ring that bell for notifications. And as always, check us out at tcg.ca. Hope you learned something. <laughs> wow!